Oh damn, almost died. Welcome to Holding Lies, this is Jackass. Alright, uh, five... What is this, 581 US 20? 250? So 581 US 250. Section 8 program works so well with the bigger bedroom count houses because there's not usually a lot of them available. And for those of you in the know with how Section 8 works, the bigger the voucher, the bigger the rent check. What's around this corner? Good place to take a break. Jacuzzi top, dude. A uh, little pro tip for y'all. Anybody who's like, oh, I don't know how much a furnace is. Uh, you're looking at like 3500 bucks for that. And it should last you about 30 years, right? So it should be a one and done -er. Oh, somebody was in the, somebody here is a brony. A jub brony. Ha! <laughs> Got him. Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sale show, folks. Thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't watch TV, giving it to you straight. All right, y'all. I got something that could work for some Section 8 folks. Could possibly also work for house flippers, all right? 581 U.S. Highway 250 North, out there in Norwalk, Ohio, a little bit south, a little bit south of Sandusky there, right? So uh, kind of out there in the sticks a little, so to speak, right? This thing coming to you at 74.9, and let me tell you, it's a big old house, okay? It's a 5-1. So if you're going the Section 8 route, y'all, after you do the renovation, after you put this thing together, dude, we're looking at like a $1,500 a month government guaranteed rent check coming your way because them Section 8s, the Section 8 program works so well with the bigger bedroom count houses because there's not usually a lot of them available. And for those of you in the know with how Section 8 works, the bigger the voucher, the bigger the rent check, right? So there is definitely a unique opportunity for investors who have large bedroom count houses to maximize their Section 8 income. Could also work for a fix and flipper, right? We got to do a decent chunk of work, right? Clearly, you got to do the cosmetic love uh, to the entire inside of the house, of course, right? Like the kitchen looks like it's, you know, from like a 1940s horror movie, um, the furnace and the hot water tank, right? Those are smoked, so you're going to need to replace those. A uh, little pro tip for y'all. Anybody who's like, oh, I don't know how much a furnace is. Uh, you're looking at like 3500 bucks for that, and it should last you about 30 years, right? So it should be a one and done -er. Hot water tanks, uh, they usually last you about 15 years, cost about 1500 all right. The roof, roofs usually last like 30. This roof is pretty close to the end of the life. Seller did not know how old it was. Uh, I'd say it's at least 20 years old, uh, probably closer to 30. So that's probably getting towards its end of life, right? So what I see here so far, right, 35 hundo for the furnace, 15 for the hot water tank, probably like another 8 to 10 for that roof. Uh, probably at least a 20 spot, maybe 25 uh, for them cosmetic uh, cosmetic upgrades and, you know, new kitchen, things of that nature, right? Uh, so you got like a pretty full, uh, full renovation that you need to do here, right? Uh, what you guys want to do from here is you're going to want to submit as is cash offers to our team, right? And you'll send those to sales at holtonweiss.com. Just tell us the address of the property, how much you want to pay cash only because it needs such a renovation. Although you could use your hard money loans and things of that nature, right? As far as like putting together your scope of work, uh, you actually probably want to do that before you submit those offers. Now that I got ahead of myself there, actually. How about before y'all submit them cash offers or those hard money financed offers, why don't you guys get yourselves into that property, all right? And all you got to do to do that is send us an email, sales at holtonweiss.com make sure it's before uh five o'clock eastern standard time right because after five o'clock is beer 30 so we're gonna have to get you in the very next day if you hit us up after five but if you hit us up before five we'll get you in there same day dude same day not a lot of people are getting everybody into their property same day that's what we do here at holton wise on holton wise tv you hit us up five o'clock eastern standard time prior to that prior to beer 30 dude you're in there same day and you could put together your exact scope of work right a much more detailed scope of work than what i've provided to you but again you know just looking 
looking at it from 50,000 feet in the air, it's pretty clear, at least 2025 in cosmetic rentals, 3,500 hot water, or 3,500 furnace, 1,500 hot water tank, 8 to 10 for your roof, right? So definitely uh, use that as a starting point to start running your numbers, guys. Uh, but then you're going to want to get a little bit more detailed info, and then after that, then after that is when it'd be more appropriate to tell me about your offer, how much you want to pay, and give me your proof of funds or your financing if you do decide to use like hard money financing. And if you guys need like fix and flip financing, bridge financing, hard money financing, I have all those for you too as well, guys. So everything needs to come to sales at holdenwise.com. Let's go. All right, here we go. I'm not, I'm not going out on this main road, but I think I can get further enough back. I don't get run over the show in front of the house here. Maybe I'll put truck in. Oh, damn, almost died. Welcome to Holding Lies. This is Jackass. All right, uh, five, what is this, 581 US 20? 250? So 581 US 250. We got the house. There's a barn back there. And then quite a bit of the property. It runs about to where that far tree is, if you can see it. At least I believe so. That's what it looked like on the water site. Big plot of land, dude. Careful not to step in any holes out here. Break my ankle. Died. Hills have aisle stuff. Hills have eye style out here. I'll put on a step in the dog shit. Or probably raccoon shit. Get off me, frickers! Y'all, RV. Crescent wrench. Yeah. Cool. All the platforms keep shit from getting flooded. This place is dark. You keep this is where you keep the bodies if you had them. Oh yeah. Wall in. Yeah. There's nothing up here. Yeah, it's just dirt. It goes all the way back. There's a shower platform there, but I'm not going into the mud. I'm doing a pretty quick thing, right? Huh? Amazing, right? That's pretty nifty. Alright. Woohoo! Get out of here. Yeah, it looks like the water rose all the way to these top steps. I think laundry room probably here, what this was. I'm going to assume that. Right. <clears throat> oh. 
Just tiggle on the bus. Don't put your fingers in there. Oh. Damn. Close it now. Yeah, probably not a bad idea. What's around this corner? Good place to take a bit. Jacuzzi tub, dude. Jetted tub. Like, what is that, dude? Good times, is. Was that like a little kid's handprint on the toilet? Bunch of dead shit in there. Alright. Yeah, kitchen. For your viewing pleasure. Come over here. That's a chalice and a half over there. Jesus. I'm not bad in here. No, I mean... This room's a little creepy with the... Tinted window. Tinted window. <coughs> broken tinted window. America. This America. What's <coughs> in here? Oh, it's just... I don't know if you need air conditioners. Dude, there's a lot in there. No heat. It's fun times. No heat. No you! That's the front door. Yeah, I drove the sign in, but there's really not many places to put it. Oh, somebody was in the somebody here is a brownie. A jub brownie. Ha! <laughs> Got him. I can't even see. It's so dark in this room. <clears throat> what a old furniture though. Yeah. Look at this. Is this a headboard? What is that? I mean it's a mirror. Can I Probably see it? for like a uh, dresser. Right. I gotta know what's in here. <sighs> Nothing. Empty. Empty. This kind of shit pisses me off. Pisses me off. What the hell is that for? Oh, I didn't see this one when I. Yeah, that's a... Oh, yeah. Pull it back for me. That's, uh, that's interesting. I feel like I missed a room. We can go upstairs, yeah. Uh, no, I mean like down here, I think I missed a room. <laughs> I think you hit everything, it's just fucking confusing. This room with the fridge. Oh, yeah, okay. I'm paying up because there's no, no ceiling insulation coming down. But, wood burning stove? Need that in your life. And a toilet. Is that toilet hooked up? No. This blue cable coming in from outside. <clears throat> Luxury beyond my wildest dreams, dude. Uh oh, wait till you see upstairs. Beyond your wildest imagination. Uh, bones on the steps. That's cool. Raccoon poop and bones. Favor of every American treasure hunter. Floor didn't sound very good. I 
this is just a hall closet. I'm not in there. Move some shit so I can get in here. No, they got one of those Fushimi balls up in here. You guys remember the commercials for these? There's the box. Or was it Fushigi maybe? I think it was Fushigi. Dude, you're gonna tell. Trying not to step on any raccoon shit. Wallpaper. Very rustic. I'm gonna get over there without stepping in raccoon shit. Bunch of books. Books. Interview with a vampire down there. I guess since I said it, I should show you. Classic, dude. And Rice. I don't know if you watch Hold on his TV, but if you do, you're desperate for an autograph. The making of modern Japan. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.